Good evening, San Diego. I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis, and thank you for tuning in for your CBS 8 Plus weather update. Still another day with those mild temperatures right along the coastline with widespread 70s, and the heat was on across the inland valleys all the way to the desert. We had that excessive heat warning that went into effect at 11 a.m. this morning for the inland valleys, and we were talking about 90s as well as triple digits. We're seeing that with our highs for today. You had 94 degrees for Escondido. You still had a few 80s that were out there in Miramar. The same for La Mesa and also talking about 88 degrees for El Cajon, but it was all about those 90s and triple digits when it came to the excessive heat warning. We had 97 degrees today for Valley Center, 90s across the mountains, 115 for Borrego Springs, also 100 degrees for Campo, as well as for Ramona. And for Ramona, well, that set a new record for today. We previously had the record at 98 degrees back on this day in 1985. We're talking about a new record that was set 100 degrees was the high today for Ramona, and you're still looking at more excessive heat over the next couple of days. It's slowly moving towards the east, that area of high pressure that unfortunately has been bringing a really hot air mass and the reason why we have a continuation of this heat wave across the west. So another week of those hot highs, also talking about record temperatures. Yesterday we hit a record that was for Borrego Springs. We broke the previous record at 121. The previous record was 117. Also talking about that record that was set today for Ramona. So we are continuing to see some of those records being broken across the west. Over the next couple of days, the potential is there for more of that. Also, elevated fire weather concerns all the way through Friday as we are dealing with this ridge of high pressure that is also bringing in the dry air. We're not the only ones dealing with the excessive heat warning. As mentioned, that is going to be across the inland valleys as well as for the mountains. And so basically all inland areas are now dealing with that. The excessive heat warning for the inland valleys as well as for the mountains, you have 90s upwards of 106 to 108. That will expire at 9 p.m. on Thursday. Then you have the excessive heat warning for the desert. That's with highs between 115 to 122. That 122 is more of an emphasis for the Coachella Valley. We'll be in the one teens across our desert here in San Diego County, but still talking about some rather hot highs. Also looking at 110 to 117 for the excessive heat warning across much of Arizona. Also fire weather concerns that are still plaguing the state of Oregon. They're dealing with not just the triple digits, but then on top of that, you have humidity values as low as 9%, as well as the heat advisories and the excessive heat warning that goes all the way through Saturday morning, and that is for the San Joaquin Valley. When we look at ways to beat the heat, you're going to continue to hear, uh, hear us talk about this because we're just trying to protect you, we're trying to keep you safe because heat-related illnesses are the number one killer of weather-related illnesses in the United States, more than tornadoes, more than hurricanes. We're talking about heat, and it's still locked in for us over the next few days. It's not until the weekend it starts to slip a little bit more. So just keeping in mind, drinking plenty of water, even eating cold foods like something that has uh, hydration in it, uh, foods and fruits that also have water in them, that can help you as well. Being cool by using fans, air conditioners, and if you don't have an air conditioner, cool zones. We have a story on our website been talking about this. Evan and I both update it. Sean updates it on the weekend, and we give you more updates when it comes to ways to beat the heat, and one of those is cool zones. We give you a list of locations where you can find them in your neighborhood. Avoiding uh, strenuous outdoor activity during the midday hours, especially when you're talking about 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., because that's also when you get the most intense rays from the sun, which has been generally in the ex very high to extreme rating. Also wearing light-colored, lightweight, loose-fitted clothing and being mindful of your pets, hot pavement, especially asphalt. We have asphalt, it is black. It absorbs a lot of that heat from the sun, and so they could burn their paws on that. If you can't keep your hand down for roughly about 10 seconds on a pavement or on a sidewalk, then here's something to keep in mind. Your pet, you should pick them up because that is when it's very dangerous for them and you don't want anything to happen to their paws. And of course, we're telling you to stay nice and hydrated. Make sure they're drinking plenty of water too. When it comes to our overnight lows, we're still locked into those widespread 60s west of the mountains. You're also looking at the 70s across the mountains and 85 degrees for Borrego Springs. We get right back to the heat by tomorrow. Widespread 90s east of the 15, 101 for Julian, 104 for Campo, 118 for Borrego Springs by tomorrow. If you are looking for an area that you can get a little bit more relief, that would be closer towards the coast because the coast 
You're still talking about the high pressure system that's rather strong, but it leads to a shallow marine layer. We're seeing some haziness out there tonight, closer towards the coast. You're going to see that all the way through tomorrow morning. So that's why temperatures have been a little bit more moderate for coastal communities and for downtown. We'll continue to be monitoring the low clouds as well as the development of any fog into the overnight hours all the way through tomorrow. Downtown, the high tomorrow will be 76 degrees. You're looking at 81 for Chula Vista and 79 for Oceanside. Your surf forecast, about one to three feet in a low risk of rip currents at our local beaches. All right, so the weather impact, we've been talking about the heat, and there's more of it over the next few days. Well, temperatures take a little bit more of a downward trend by this weekend. They're still going to be warmer than usual. And then we add in humidity. There is a slight chance that we could see some thunderstorms developing by this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Some areas looks to be Saturday, some areas looks to be Sunday. So let's break it down just a little bit more. For the coast, you're looking at the uh, upper 70s to low 80s right along the coast for daytime highs by tomorrow. And then you trend right into those 70s. And that's going to stick around all the way into next week. There is a slight chance we could see an afternoon thunderstorm or two on Sunday. And that's because some of this activity that most likely will impact or more favorable to impact the mountains could stray a little bit more towards the west as a result. Weather impact alert days next couple of days because of the heat with the excessive heat warning for the inland valleys. And then you're looking at that slight chance as temperatures do come down by, uh, by Sunday. That's for the inland valleys. So you'll see more of the high cloud coverage and then also you'll feel the humidity too. So keep that in mind. When we look at the mountains, you have the next couple of days with the weather impact alert days. And as I've been previously mentioning, you're still going to keep, I'm going to keep it basically red for Friday and Saturday because those highs are still warmer than 90 degrees. So that's still pretty hot out there. And then you're getting back into those 80s. There's your chance, better a chance and more favorable on Sunday across the mountains when it comes to a chance of seeing any isolated thunderstorms. But one thing that's also going to be a factor, dry lightning. At the surface, we're still going to be relatively dry. So you're still talking about some pretty low humidity values. But then we have another layer in the atmosphere, and that's when you're talking about those high clouds that move in, the ones that make gorgeous sunsets. Well, those are going to be around as we hit Sunday. And so with the heating of the day, that means some cumulus clouds are going to be building up over the mountains, and that offers up that slight chance. So we could see some activity, maybe hear some rumbling in the distance, or unless you're in the mountains, just be mindful of that. So when you do hear that thunder roar, you go indoors. So we are looking at a chance for that on Sunday as the 80s are set to return on Sunday for the mountains and we take those upper 80s into the start of next week. Across the desert, you're looking at a slight chance that would be by Saturday, still holding on to those weather impact alert days through Friday because of that excessive heat warning. And then temperatures do come down. They trend downward a little bit more. You're no longer talking about those one teens by this weekend. You're down to about 106, which is close to average across the desert, 109 by Monday. Please be safe out there. Continue to stress. You just can't be safe enough when it comes to this heat. Drink plenty of water. Protect yourself, your pets, and your family. I hope you have a great night. Thanks for tuning in.